A new Fang radio, new-ish. It's actually been out for a while. The GT5 TP Baofeng, Baofeng, Baofeng. Got this from either Amazon or eBay. I'll find a link and I'll put it below. But I wanted to take a moment, test this today, and see what it's all about. TQ Pota, TQ Pota, TQ Park on the air. You go Charlie 5, Hotel with Bravo. Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 818-217-0380. That's 818-217-0380. Good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining the channel today. I'm Jason, KC5HWB. This is Ham Radio 2.0, and we talk about new radios and radio testing and that kind of stuff. So Baofeng, 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 however you want to say it. That's my best Mandarin. I can't get any better than that. Has this radio called a GT5TP. Now, I had heard that this radio was locked down to the ham bands. I'd heard that this model... The GT5 TP was supposed to be their answer to some of the FCC fines they got about selling full open transmit radios on Amazon to the to the general public, which they're really not supposed to do. I don't know, whatever. But this radio is full open transmit. So it does have an FCC sticker on the back. I'm going to show you that in a second. But this radio is full open transmit. You can key up on like 155. You can key up on like 136, 438. 438 is in the handband. This is not a lockdown radio. So I wonder if this was actually supposed to be something locked down to the United States. Now, whether you agree with that or not is really kind of irrelevant. I'm not saying that all radios should be locked down. I'm not saying that none of them should be locked down. What I'm saying is I heard this model was locked down. And it's not. Follow along until the end of the video for a secret word. That secret word you can put in the comments and I'll know you watch to the end. Right here we've got the screen. This is all the stuff that comes in. I'm not going to do a real unboxing. This is the cradle, obviously. It comes with the belt clip. The belt clip attaches to the radio. It goes around the battery, so I like that. Belt clip attaches right there. You can take the battery off and the belt clip attaches right there. So I like that. I like that. If you buy a second battery for it, you don't have to worry about getting a second belt clip. It comes with this inline PTT connector, standard K connector, Kenwood style connector for the program. It doesn't come with a programming cable, but presumably you can put a standard programming cable in it. But this uh, earpiece here, it does come with. So there's all the stuff it comes with right there and a wrist strap, you know, like who cares. So let's zoom down on this. This is your standard FANG menu. You've got menus. Menu. you got 41 menus right there. It goes to R-Tone. Receive tone, I guess. Reset. Usually resets the last one, so that's strange. Resets the number 40. 41, and it starts at 0, so it's really 42 menus. This is your standard Baofeng menu. There's nothing special about this. I can turn this stupid beep off. There we go. Now it doesn't have the beep. There's where you set the CTCSS. I'm going to go back here and see what kind of frequency steps it will do because it's set to 25 kilohertz right now. Frequency step. It'll do 12.5, okay. Does not do eight, the 8 and 0.33, which I didn't expect it to. It does do 2.5. Confirm. Okay, so there you go. So this is standard stuff right here. Okay, so this is the exit, uh, the exit in the A and B tab. You can switch from the top band to the bottom band with that button right there. TX power right there. Power. It's got three power settings, low, medium, and high. So it should be like a 7 or 8 watt HT. I don't know if it is or not, but we're going to find that out here in a minute. It does have dual PTT, so if I push the, the bottom part of this PTT, the bottom band will light up. That's 146.52. KC5HWB. You can see I got another radio on here in the shack. Turn the volume down a bit. KC5HWB. You can probably hear that buzzing in the uh, in the microphone right now. That's 146.52 KC5HWB. And if I push the top button, it'll key up 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155.5. 155
Let's uh, let's change that. 440. There we go. Now you can see the arrow there next to the 441. That means it's on the top band. You can switch bands with this button. But if you push the bottom button, there you go. KC5 HWB. The arrow is at the bottom. And then all, I, and I, I don't have to switch this. The barrel, arrow is still at the bottom right there, but then I can key up right here. So it's got uh, dual PTT buttons right here. You can press the top button, and it keys up on the top band, bottom button, bottom band, like that. It's got these two F and M buttons here. The F turns on the FM stereo right there. A long press of the M button opens up the squelch for monitor. Okay. This right over here is the... Standard K connector for the uh, earpiece that it comes with. Just one. Oh, that's a flashlight. How do I turn that on? Huh. Okay, so a short press of the M turns the flashlight on. I didn't see that a minute ago. Good. Okay. So it's just got one button, one knob up here which turn, uh, controls the volume. It's also how you turn it off and on. Mode. It's on frequency mode there. To change the channel mode, you turn it off. This is a common feature of the UV82. Hold down menu. And it goes to channel mode. Same thing if you want to go back to frequency mode. Turn it off, hold down the menu button. And you change back and forth between channel and menu. Once again, this is how the battery comes off. The battery there is a 7.4 volt, 2000 milliamp hours. Right there. And then you've got FANG GT5TP FCC ID with that. FCC and the CE stamps there, made in China. That kind of thing. So it's uh, got the official certification on it. Or, you know, I don't know how official it actually is. Maybe it's fake. It did come from eBay, so there's that. So let's put this on the power meter and see what we see. One thing I didn't mention, the antenna seems rather heavy. And, like, in a good way. The antenna seems like it's rather beefy. Uh, a little bit heavier than some stock fang antennas I've used in the past. But... Uh, Something I noticed when I took it out of the box. Not a big deal, just, you know, a little bit of difference there. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've am gonna i got it on 441.0 on the top band. I'm going to focus that a little bit. And then 146.7 on the bottom band. So you can see that right there. Uh, what I say? 146.52 on the bottom band. So I'm going to connect this uh, power meter from MFJ, the MFJ849. And I'm going to end. Since we have three power settings, I'm going to go up here. Transmit power. Low. Exit. That's on 146.52. So let's... Okay, so one and a half watts on low. It's not terrible. KC5H should be testing. We're on a dead end road. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's go here. And that's on high also, low. So low on 440, 2.3 watts, low on 440. That's pretty good, okay? Now I'm going to switch it. Transmit power me medium. Mid, okay. So mid power. I set both bands to mid-power just there. Mid-power 146.52 is 4 watts. That's pretty good for mid-power. Let's hope it doesn't die when it gets to the high power. 441 is also about 4 watts. That's good. And now we're going to test high power. Uh, 146.52 high power. Almost 7 watts. That's good. Okay, 6.2. And 441 is right at 5 watts. So there you go. So some of these radios I've tested in the past tend to have, especially the tri-power ones, they'll do really good on low and mid. Like mid will be around 3.5, 4 watts. You're like, okay, good. Maybe it'll get to 6.5, 7, 8 watts. And then it's like 4.5 watts on mid and like 5 or 5.5 five watts on high. I'm like, yeah, this one had really good separation. Let me pull the eBay page up again. So it, does, it is advertised as an 8 watt. Now this is not the auction I bought. But it is advertised as an 8 watt, so good. Okay, so it's doing over 7 watts. Well, right at 7 watts, 6.9 watts, 6.9 watts. So about 7 watts on high power, which is not terrible. There's not going to be hardly any difference at all between 7 and 8 watts in, in reality on an HT. So it's doing 
pretty good for its average size power. It's got good separation between low and mid and between mid and high. And that's something you don't always see on these cheaper 8-watt eight, eight claimed Chinese radios. But it, do, it is open transmit. It does transmit everywhere. I went back and looked at the, uh, at the one that I bought on eBay just now, and it said clearance on it. So maybe they were getting rid of those, and I bought it the, just a little bit too early. And maybe they were, I don't know, maybe they have the ones now that are actually locked down per FCC regulations in the USA the way that they're kind of forcing Baofeng to, to do that. I don't know. Who's got one of these and what do you think about it? Today's word of the day is TP because this is a GT5 TP. So TP, <laughs> TP. <laughs> so thanks for watching today, guys. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think about this radio and we'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. If you think that I have earned your subscription, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can keep up with all the reviews that we do. If you don't think I earned your subscription, then I would like to know why. I would like to know what you think I could do better because I always look for positive feedback. I don't mind constructive criticism. I always look for positive feedback and constructive criticism in the comments. So put a comment below and let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching.